right, everyone, gather around. Elvis tomb is apparently empty. See, I've had all these people talk to me and say that Elvis is dead from my last video, and you're wrong. He's alive. I'm telling you. Here's another example of Elvis's tomb being completely empty, and here's the picture to prove it. Elvis tomb is empty, according to in New York. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. In honor for today's auction of Elvis memorabilia, we present you the classic wheel world weekly world news who I love and support with all my heart, mind and soul expose uh, that we still stand by. The King's tomb is empty. The King, the only what's, <laughs> That's the word from our fame doctor, doctor, a.k.a. an expert. Hello. Expert opinion alert. Dr. Andy Reese, who conducted a psychi psych psychiatric psych psychiatric investigation of Presley's alleged burial site and concluded that the body is missing. Where's the body then? All you people that think that you think Joe Biden, Elvis Presley is dead. Where's the body then? Show us the body. Elvis uh, body is missing. Elvis isn't in Graceland. He said he's not even in Memphis, said Dr. Reese of Los Angeles. People were led to believe that he buried them there, that he was buried there. And then he wrote and it was a ruse. <gasps> a ruse. This is like this is like written on the internets. I'm telling you, it's real. Uh, Massa West says, "Yeah, we've seen a picture of him in the wheelchair. Exactly, he's he is alive and well. Uh, there that it was a ruse designed to keep them in the dark. Exactly, we've seen the footage of him in the wheelchair. It's more than a gut feeling," he says. "I physically sense the truth of this." So deep down within his gut, he feels the sense. The king is much closer to his birthplace in Tapulo, Mississippi. There's no doubt about it. No doubts come from this man. And I believe him. Dr. Reese, a blockbuster revelation is sure to send sh shockwaves around the world as fans come to grip with the fact that Presley's 1977 burial might have been a hoax. It opens up five intriguing possibilities. Oh my god, I freaking love possibilities. Okay, number one. Possibility number one. Elvis faked his death and is still alive. Arthur Gail Giorgio theorized as much as in her 1988 book. She wrote a book about this. <laughs> The most incredible Elvis Presley story ever. It was she argued that the singer faked his death because superstardom had made his life a living hell. Thousands of people claim to have seen the king in the weeks and months followed, but their accounts and their and a few blurry photos of Elvis were never authenticated and they probably don't even they probably aren't even living anymore. They probably took those people down. Possibility number two, Elvis is buried in a hidden unmarked grave in Tupulo. During his psychiatric investigation of Presley's tomb, Dr. Reese sensed that the king was in or near Tupulo. Or Tipilo? Can't wait for the new album drop? Exactly. I hope he makes a new album. Yes, exactly. It's, his new album's going to be called From the Wheelchair I Rise Again. <laughs> it stands to reason that he could be buried there because Tupulo is his birthplace. Possibility number three. Elvis was resurrected from the dead and taken directly to heaven. <laughs> and though it may sound far-fetched, no, absolutely not. That sounds legit to me. And it better sound legit to you. And if it doesn't, you're not following the science. There is compelling evidence to support this theory. Since the king died or disappeared in 1977, and we're all going with disappearance, okay? This is real. Thousands of fans claim that they have been healed after they mentioned his name in prayers. So next time in your prayers, don't pray to Jesus. Pray to Elvis according to this article. And you will be healed. <laughs> Meditator over his picture. 
or came face to face with his spirit. And I, for one, have seen Elvis in his spirit. He tried to touch me. I'm serious. He touched me in his wheelchair. And it was exactly what I wanted it to be and more. Possibility number four. Elvis faked his death and traveled incognito for 12 years before he perished in a plane crash in Bolivia on January 2nd. Hmm. You're in Bolivia. Hmm. You hanging out with Hitler? Is that what's going on? On January 2nd, 1989. Long friend. Long time friend. Long friend. Really long friend. And confidant James Kakan told the story last winter. But exhaustive efforts by Weekly World News, who I trust with all my heart, soul, and mind, and with my body, soul, and passion, and other media failed to uncover any hard evidence beyond Kakan's word to support the story. Possibility number five. The king's remains were stolen. I mean, there's his tomb right there. And there's a fake face of him. <sighs> I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe anymore. Is Elvis alive or dead? I think he's alive. This is two articles in the last week and a half that have come out and saying he's alive. And I believe it. I swear on my life. <laughs> I believe it. And I want you to believe it. And this Thanksgiving... When you're around your table with your family, tell your family that Elvis is still alive. And as their jaws drop in amazement and call you things like a conspiracy theorist or anti-science or an election denier, tell them up yours because the king is back and the king is ready for his next album dropping. Hunka hunka burning miracles. <laughs> is he alive or dead? Is he in heaven or does he have the remains on her? <laughs> They're going to grind his bones and snort them like a Chinese. Me oh my God. You know what? Queen buried in my chat. How dare you? There are healing powers with Elvis's bones. Everyone knows that you have the power to take music from another culture and make it popular. Oh, <gasps> <laughs> How dare you whitewash that? How dare you? <laughs> but this Thanksgiving, tell your relatives who are all these experts in the room. Tell them about Elvis and how real he is. He is, he is a God. Exactly. He's the God in all our hearts and minds and souls. And today, if you need healing in your heart, if you need healing in your soul, if you need healing in your body, if you just pray to Elvis, good things will happen. Amen. Thank you for Elvis and everything you've done for me. Without Elvis, I can't even go pee pee. <laughs>